नाउ लेटेस्ट डिस्कस अबाउट पैरल यार्डर और रिपुल कैरी यार्डर पैरल यार्डर इज मेनली यूजफुल इन ऑर्डर टू यार्ड टू बाइनरी नंबर्स टू बाइनरी नंबर्स सो लेट वी हैव टू बाइनरी नंबर्स लाइक दिस लेट द फर्स्ट बाइनरी नंबर इज वन जीरो वन जीरो लेट द सेकेंड बाइनरी नंबर इज वन वन डबल जीरो सो इन ऑर्डर टू परफॉर्म एडिशन ऑपरेशन ऑन दीज टू बाइनरी नंबर्स वी कैन यूज द पैरल लैडर सपोज हियर इन दिस एग्जाम्पल बाइनरी नंबर टोटली कंटेन्स फोर फोर बिट्स सो वी कैन कॉल दिस पैरल लैडर एज ए फोर बिट पैरल लैडर because each number contains 4 bits suppose let us assume that we have 8 bits present in the binary number then we can call parallel yarder as 8 bit parallel yarder suppose if the binary number contains n bits then we can call this as n bit parallel yarder we know that with the help of half yarder we can add 2 bits we can add only 2 bits whereas with the help of full adder we can perform addition operation on 3 bits 3 bits 3 bits so here if we add 2 uh, uh, bits then there is a possibility that we may get carry value so that's why here uh, we need to add 3 bits here so if we want to perform addition operation on 3 bits then we have to use full adder okay uh, now let us uh, see Uh, what is uh, parallel adder parallel adder means a collection of full adders a collection of full adders which are connected in cascade such that output carry of one full adder is connected as input carry to the next full adder here let us construct the diagram for the four bit full adder so we require how many full adders now let us construct the diagram for four bit parallel adder so we need to have four full adders so let us uh, let us have four full adders so this is first full adder so full adder 1 next second full adder full adder 2 next third full adder here we are performing addition operation on two numbers two binary numbers where each binary number contains four bits so that's why we require what four fully adder okay let us take two binary numbers let the first binary number is 1010 let the second binary number is uh, some 3110 3110 so let we have two numbers like this uh, so here we need to have uh, two numbers let the first binary number is a second binary number is b so here the least significant bit is denoted by a not next bit a1 next bit a2 next bit a3 so least significant bit is a not whereas most significant bit is a3 okay so here we will have two bits two bits so two bits two bits likewise uh, for the second number also the least significant bit is b not whereas the most significant bit is b3 okay so a not b not next a1 b1 next a2 b2 a3 b3 so here what is a3 a2 a1 a not 1 0 1 0 so a3 means 1 a2 means 0 a1 means 1 a0 means 0 likewise what is b3 b2 b1 b0 triple 1 0 so triple 1 0 next next here we need to pass input carry here see it here for the first combination so first we need to add these, these two bits so for this combination the input carry is zero the input carry is what zero so here what is cn value zero so if we add a not and b not we will get s not as well as we will get carry let that carry is c1 so this c1 is called as output carry this output carry is connected as input carry to the next full adder okay if you see here 0 plus 0 plus 0 means 0 only here the carry is also 0 here the carry is also 0 so we need to pass that carry to the next stage 
carry is 0. Okay. Carry is 0. Okay. What is some S0 0? So this is nothing but S0. So this is nothing but C0. This is nothing but C1. Next 1 plus 1 means what? 0. So sum is 0. Various carry is 1. Okay. So likewise here, uh, this fully added, second fully added performs addition operation on A1, B1, C1. So we will get sum, that sum is called as S1. That sum is S1. Here the sum is S1. Whereas we have to supply this output carry as input carry to the next fully adder. So let that is denoted by C2. So here what is C2? C2 means 1. So that 1 will be supplied as input carry to the next stage. Next 1 plus 1 plus 0 means 1 plus 1 means 0 with a carry 1. So here the sum is S3. Sum is S3. Whereas what is the carry here? So this is C2. This is C3. Okay. So if we add third fully adder performs addition on A2, B2 and C2, we will get sum. That sum is called as S3. Next we will get a carry. So that output carry will be supplied as input to carry to the next fully adder. So let that carry is C3. Next last fully adder performs addition operation on A3, B3, C3. We will get sum S3. Next we will get carry. That carry is what? C4 bit. If we add here, triple 1 means what? 1, 1. Triple 1 means 1, 1. So this is nothing but S0, S1, S2, S3. Whereas this carry is nothing but 1. So this one is nothing but C4. So here if we add two binding numbers, then the resultant sum may produce either n bits or n plus 1 bits. Okay. So here the resultant binding number, the resultant sum contains how many bits here? 1, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 5 bits. Suppose if the carry is 0, if the carry is 0, then the resultant sum should contain only 4 bits. But here the carry is what? 1. So that's why resultant sum contains 5 bits. Now let us see about what is the parallel adder. Parallel adder means a collection of fully adders which are connected in cascade like this, which are connected in cascade where output carry of one full adder is connected as input carry to the next full adder. So first full adder output is C1. So this C1 will be supplied as input to the next full adder. Likewise second full adder output is C2. This C2 will be supplied as input to the next full adder. So this is about what is the purpose of parallel adder or ripple carry adder. So with the help of parallel adder or ripple carry adder, we can perform addition operation on two binary numbers. Suppose if it is a n bit parallel adder, then we can perform addition operation on two binary numbers where each number contains n bits. So this is about parallel adder or ripple carry adder.